Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved 64-bit mode survival and in this episode we are going to hopefully finally get our second ore smelter okay hopefully I've got enough gold bars and we're just gonna melt some lithium and as you can remember from the last time that I did an episode and I do apologize that this one has taken so long to uh, come out but I've had a lot of real life problems and my live TV did not work out so yeah not been going too good but we're going to go back and do it the old way I'm going to record a few episodes going to get them posted and hopefully everybody will be happy so we've got our basic layout as you know it's one all big conveyor belt now we're going to see just how much more gold we need for the basic ore smelter and we actually have it so I'm actually going to go and craft it okay because you know we have copper on and now you have, we have lithium going we know we have gold going so the first one that we're going to um, get automated is we're going to get copper automated um, all together so we're going to go ahead and craft this okay and we're now going to go where the copper is which I believe that's tin that's copper now I believe it's got to be careful with this because um, of the way it faces so I'm going to jump on the conveyor belt going to put the block back there, we're going to, I believe it's, um, I don't know where we're we at, 4, 5, okay, I'm going to go to 9, so we're now going to put down the copper ore, okay, and as you can see straight away it is smelted, now what we need to do is remember there's no power to this I don't think we can pick it up no we can't pick it up okay because we need if I can see it you need to craft a ore smelter at your base which doesn't make sense but what we need to do in this one is we need to quickly take everything out Then take, then take the hopper, okay, now the reason that we took the hopper is because what we're going to do is we're going to find out where I put my um, hopper on, which is there, and we're just going to face it so it faces me, so we know where it goes. Now what you've got to re remember is we have to now change the way we put the copper into the hopper at the moment we are on add and remove which means that once it's melted the copper in the um, furnace it's going to go back into the hopper and we don't want that so if we press E and we go I think it's add only okay and we will test test it out because I'm going to go to E and I'm going to take the eight copper bars out and you can see it adds it okay so we now know that it's going to only add copper bars into the ore smelter Okay, so what I'm going to do is we need to get some power. Now, what I've done so we can access the power supply is I've gone underground 
okay and you can if I click correctly or just go to back up and delete the block as we go under here and we click down so you need to dig down a little bit So we need to get rid of these. Whoops. I want them back. Don't want that one. Uh, where are we? It's because my mouse button still does not scroll on the, the game. I have to be careful. There are places. Okay, is that what we did? So we can get things going is that my little access panel and you know that I like to have a path of three everywhere I go so it just makes it even when you build things and as you can see it's come at night time I can't fast forward it or anything like that so what we need to uh, do is get our power supply connected to our ore smelter now, for that to happen, we need to move this power supply over one, okay? Alright, so, what I'm going to do is, because we've got another hopper, and I'm going to face it this way, I'm going to put the hopper down when I can find it. So as I said, my mouse button does not like me at the moment. And we're going to put this hopper down. Yeah. And again, what this one needs to um, be. Okay. And we won't be able to test this until it is fully operational, which we will get that done in the next episode. Is if you press E and you add only so the way it should be going now guys is in from your conveyor belt into the add only copper silo it will then be melted it only holds let me open the screen it only holds eight copper at any one time in this top section it unless the devs have changed it it will not hold 96 but when you have your copper bars down here it will hold as many as I think when I did it last time I had over 250 okay so what happens is this will get up to 100 which will be the out and then it will stop power up in your furnace so it's always always going to keep going Okay, now what we will eventually do is get this um, going into a storage underneath, okay, but I think for the time being what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game here, I'm going to readjust this conveyor system, I'm going to move over the power supply, I'm going to get it so it, so it moves correctly, uh, I'm not sure if we can move the manufacturing plant yet. If we can, what I'm going to try and do is get the power going directly into um, the first power supply. Get everything changed around a bit. And I will come back to you and I will show you how we will get it to our fully first automated ore. As you can see, we are full of tin again. Okay. So hopefully guys I will see, see you, well I will see you back shortly and um, you know we can um, carry on from there and um, I will see you soon. Okay bye bye for now, I will be back as soon as I have made the adjustments and we have got power going to the new ore smelter.
Hi everybody and welcome back. Now, as you can see, I have rearranged the power, okay, because obviously if you remember the main power supply, um, the big storage, connects all the power supplies down below it as well. So what we've done is we put a small storage power supply behind it, the transmitter, and you've got the main power supply, and then you've got the, oh excuse me, then you've got the um, smeltery, which at the moment we're just smelting iron. As you can see, we're not really too worried about what goes in there. Okay. And as you can see, we do have this set up correctly now. Um, we're now going to power it. So now you're going to ask, well, how do we power it? <coughs> how are we going to do that? Now, there's two ways, basically. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to dig a hole here, okay, and this is where our power supply is going to be. We're going to connect it with um, 250 sections, okay, power storages. So we need to see what we need for those. And as you can see, what we need is copper bars and some lithium. So we haven't got copper bars, which I'm quite surprised about. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the ore smelter, open the inventory, we're going to take this ore out and shove it in there, it doesn't really matter where it goes, and you can see that um, it will mount, mount that last iron bar, and I believe, is that copper, no that's iron, I believe that's copper, ok so I'm going to mount some uh, copper bars, and this shouldn't take too long, so not to worry. And then hopefully we will always have copper bars going and we've got power supply going. I've had to rearrange this, okay, so as you can see the mining face has gone up one level, I'm not sure if I've got a drill bit for this one, I don't think I have because, well we don't really need it, and we've still got the same pattern of having the generator going to the power supply and then kicking it out um, but it's just vertical instead of horizontal <coughs> okay so our first power supply is going to go um, don't, we're going to need two okay because it, it's going to be like a main so we, well, we no, we will need one, sorry. So it's going to be here, the main, the, uh, to get to the furnaces. So to do that, first of all, you're going to have to cover the hole, you're going to have to find out where the power supply is, and I'm not sure where it is, oh, there we go, so you put the power supply down, as you can see, it breaks all the links, now, we've broken the link to the, to the other main power supply, so basically what you do, Them. 
is you make sure you put down your laser power transmitter. So what this storage unit here is going to have is basically come from the coal face into the storage supply and then it will supply this one and then it will supply the main one. Now what we will do in later series as we continue to play once this coal face is finished and when we find coal we are going to have a separate line for coal and this section here we're going to turn into our power supplant by using a lot more of, the, of these and we're going to generate a lot more power because power is going to be the thing in this game if we haven't got power you ain't going to live long so what we do now is we take away this ok uh, let me find some bricks put it back put that one back ok so it all looks nice and neat and we've got your walkway and we go down and what we're looking for is right here on the um, furnace yeah we are going to need power connected so as you can see we are going to need I believe unless I can take that away I think I can yeah but it, it leaves a hole so I'm not too sure whether These are going to be the main power supplies for the um, for the smelteries. Uh, if I can just remember where I, where I put them, it would help me so much more. Okay, so that's the first power supply connected. Okay, it's got no power in it whatsoever. Okay, so so that you can see that it's going to work, we're going to put the other power supply. Um, let's see here ok and we're going to have another power supply here so you've got two power supplies ok so you can see that, that one's starting already now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be putting um, a laser ok so let me find the laser which is number 6 now as long as we can get this going correctly there you go there's your first power now you can see that it's powering away ok you can see the first one starting to power up there ok so you see it's not going very uh, well at the moment so what we're going to do is we are going to leave it there for a minute going to have a quick look and see what's happening at the top here ok and you can see it's transferring it is struggling a little a little bit ok but that's not that's not too bad I'm not, I'm not too worried about that because once it gets going it, it's going to be perfectly fine ok So 
So, what we can do is leave it running or we can put boost on it. Now the boost is basically just this version. You may think, well, why bother? Why, why put boost on? Because the simple fact is, it will just make it quicker. But at the moment, I'm, I'm really not first. All I'm going to do is press the E key and put in some of my own power. Okay? And I'm going to boost it myself. And what we need to see is just how much and how much stable this is going to be. I do know it does work. Okay? Alright? You can see that, that that's near enough up to maximum power now. Okay? Now this is going to be upgraded. Okay? So don't worry about that. It will be upgraded to a bigger one. Because it does need to ha uh, store a lot of power. But for now, for one power unit, you can see there, look. It's, it's using the power. Now what you need to make sure is that this one gets power and as you can see it, it is getting power that's getting more and more and more and what you'll see now is that this is actually smelting this is actually working properly um, we're not sure yet whether it's going in the right place we're going to just double check we've got copper ore in there so there we go it's got some ore in and you can see our first copper bar has been produced this is now fully automatic guys you'll never ever ever have to worry about copper ore all you do is basically go to this hopper and take the ore out the copper bars out sorry and that's it there's no more that you need now obviously you can turn this around I think we'll, we will turn that around just to just to make it so it's clearer so we'll just do that okay and again what you need to do is make sure that you add only okay all right as you can see the power is coming up okay once this power is up and fully running you can see that's going to work quite nicely this one here is at 154 this one's going up even more and more and more. This one is going slightly down look, but it's still it's still reasonable for what I want it to do. And I can see look, copper bars going in there. And it and it's perfectly safe, look, does 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 it out all the time. You don't need to worry about it now. It's at maximum uh, smelting temperature. Look, it, it's done, it's working. There we go, look building up more and more and over time this will run faster and faster and faster okay so what we what we're now going to do is we're going to um, seal this off you can see how effective it is as I said I don't like stuff doing down you can see that we've got, got it full okay That's it basically guys, we are up and running, we have our first smelt week done. Now you're going to ask me, why did we do copper first? Now the reason we did copper first, and as you can still see, it's still going nicely, is basically, we are going to want to have lots of copper. And <coughs> the reason for this is we are going to need more of these okay we're going to need more of these so the next one that we're looking at um, let's just empty this is going to be tin okay all right because we haven't got caught gold coming up yet and we do need to make a lot lot more of uh, the conveyor belts okay so yes you still have to keep emptying it and stuff like that and doing all the basic stuff 
We're going to want to make more of the MK1 robotic arms because we're going to, like one of uh, the viewers suggested, we should upgrade, <laughs> okay, um, to um, more powerful drill heads. And to be honest, yeah, he, he's right, we should do, okay? We should do. And we're going to be looking at doing a lot more um, stuff inside here because we need to expand this we need to make this more powerful now the only way to make this more powerful is to upload it to a level 2 ok but for now I'm going to end the episode here I hope you enjoyed this episode if you do leave a like if you don't leave a hate all comments are welcome next episode we're going to automate um, tin okay so we're going to be needing a lot more power storage supplies okay and um then yeah we, we will have the next available um all being melted automatically okay and then once we've got that done we will then look at um into storage and making, a, making the base a bit better and getting rid of the snow because if I think I've seen it no snow still comes down here um, is we're getting to the point in the game now where we're going to have to start considering about defences okay we're going to look at defences, we're going to look at uh, everything involved. We're going to be looking at um, moving these bits and pieces that we don't want because we're going to want to move, have those moved. We're going to start now really, really expanding quite quickly. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying this series. Sorry for the delay. I will see you next episode and I shan't bore you with all the time consuming of making um, another ore smelter. We will get things so it's automatically done. When you come back the tin will be running. I will show you how we got the tin running and then we will start upgrading and we will start looking at um, a better power supply because once you start getting these running automatically you are going to need a huge amount of power to make sure that they keep running okay and that's what we need we start we, we, we need to have power we need to protect the powerhouse okay so have fun guys enjoy the game leave me a hate leave me a like leave me a comment and I will see you next episode. This is Hellsmaster Kite signing off. Have fun, stay safe, and see you next time. Bye for now.